welcome back to our class we completed the, the history of the first century church and we are now going to the second to third century christianity till the time of constantine till the time when constantine the emperor constantine embraced christianity and christianity became a legal religion in the fourth century that is in ad 313 so this period has several specialities so it covers almost 200 years of history and the first one and the introduction of the first uh, speciality of this period is discussed today so that is persecution that is the first one the major uh, major theme or major even that happened during this 200 years is the severe is the severe persecution and persecution is not a new thing or persecution was there from the very beginning even in the first century even today persecution of christians continue persecution started with jesus that we all know jews crucified jesus and definitely almost all his apostles became martyrs except maybe john all others became martyrs so from the very beginning of christianity there was persecution and the persecution was an ongoing um thing in christianity christians cannot avoid persecution so persecution is something that is part part and parcel of christianity so this period covers roughly 200 years of history and persecution is one of the major issue that we need to study in the in the early periods of christianity when we study persecution we need to take some of the things very seriously it's not exactly as we heard in sermons and we read in some devotional books and all as historians we need to study persecution carefully we need to handle this issue very carefully and most of us know a little about this topic already in most of the sermons people talk about persecution so we know and we have several heroes who became martyrs in um, history and we heard several sermons on this persecution but we need to understand one thing unfortunately what we have learned has often come to us in simplified form from pulpits or pamphlets sometimes this may be little more than distorted propaganda to make someone a saint people create or make some stories regarding persecution regarding martyrs and all so as historians as the people who handle history carefully we need to study about persecution very carefully and we carefully at all the look at the data and weigh all the evidences before coming to our conclusion so whenever we hear about a persecution that happened in the first three centuries before coming to a conclusion we need to analyze the data we need to analyze and study carefully he and we can just go uh, to certain um, points uh, that we need to be careful when we study about history uh, study about persecution first of all beware hagiography you know what is hagiography how many of you heard this word hagiography you might have heard the word historiography that means history writing hagiography is when a writer maybe an ancient or modern historian or a writer pops up their saint so that all the good points are exaggerated and all the bad points are suppressed 
okay let me repeat it uh, again hagiography is when a writer maybe a, an ancient or a modern writer pops up means write something always good about their scenes so that all the good points are exaggerated and all the bad points are are suppressed that is what we call it as hagiography so hagiography is very much present in several writings and it was a common feature of historical writings until the 20th century recently there is a um, there is a drastic change that uh, people study history from uh, bottom to top earlier it was from top to bottom and if we want to to declare someone as saint or if we want to to pop up someone as saint we just uh, write only the positive sides of that person many times uh, the history books related to some churches written by the that church member members are all hagiographies they never deal with the other side the negative side of what happened uh, in the church or the negative side of a person so only pops up what is good to make someone a saint that is what known as hagiography and this is one reason why books written before about it in uh, 1960s okay need to be read with greater caution means if we take a history book before 1960 before coming to a conclusion after reading the book you need to evaluate with other evidences or other books because lot of hagiographies found in the history books before 1960 especially when we study on this issue particularly on the issue of persecution we need to be very careful about hagiography because lot of saints are there in the church so to pops up the saints we always exaggerate or exaggerate the the uh, their sufferings and what they did achievements and we suppress all the negatives of that person this was very much evident even in the in the roman catholic um, among the roman catholic writers and even among the protestant writers before 1960s especially with regard to this um, this um, um, this uh, our writers on missions and all the missionaries contributions and all were puffed up or they write more to make them great to make them great people to show before the people as heroes missionary heroes and suppress all the negatives what they did or negatives that happened in the mission field or in their ministry that is what known as hagiography so when we study on this issue of uh, persecution we need to beware hagiography so when you start reading the books um, you should be very careful about hagiography um, uh, i already given you one book uh, the introduction to early christianity written by lori gar when you read that book you can see how we can carefully analyze or know um, hagiography and you know the real history so he give gave us some kind of insights to to uh, evaluate the sources that we receive then secondly we need to understand another thing don't blame all persecution on the embrace don't blame all persecutions on the embrace it was not a simple christ versus caesar contest many times people think that it is something like christ versus caesar contest local mobs and local governors played their role in the persecution of christians in the early centuries then next one not the fanatism of some christians seeking out martyrdom was also a reason for persecution many times in hagiography we can't see this uh, this at all so the fanatism of some christians seeking out martyrdom was also a reason for persecution 
they were not all helpless victims even the governments were ready to rescue them from the persecution but some of the church fathers and some of the christians were they they really wanted to become a martyr so they seeking out martyrdom and that was an another reason and not that one more thing not um, persecution was not simply a menace or an ever present risk to christians it also shaped their view of the world and society as a hostile place even in the bible we see this world is not for us for which they largely withdraw from the society especially in the early periods and it tended to make them a sect standing against the world so people in those days got a picture from the christians withdrawal from the society especially from the uh, especially from the the civilian affairs people considered this group as a new sect that was a threat for the state and threat for the nation threat for the world itself so that is the reason why they persecute christians so persecution when we study about persecution we need to be very careful because it's not just a christ versus caesar contest or simply christians were persecuted because of their faith that is what we normally hear from the pulpit but that is not always true of course there were faithful christians who became martyrs and they were persecuted but these things should be very careful when we study about persecution so let me just repeat once again first of all beware hagiography hagiography means when a writer maybe a modern or an ancient writer puffs up their saints so that all the good points are exaggerated and all the bad points are neglected or suppressed and hagiography hagiography was very common in um, uh, writings historical writings till 20th century and one of the reasons for that you know is the sources that they use for writing history they normally took the sources from their sources the sources of that missionary or the person their letters or their writings and all ask them ask them uh, source for writing history now we change that pattern we start from bottom to top not from top to bottom so the documents or the materials that we collect from the field the place where they minister was actually the the primary source for the present day historians so beware historiography uh, sorry beware hagiography in historiography so hagiography is very common so when we read a book related to persecution of the early church we need to be very careful examine it two three times before we come to a conclusion then don't blame all the persecutions on the empress many times it is from the mob the local mobs they uh, instigated people and a group of people you know something called mob psychology that was resulted in the persecution <coughs> next one not the f- uh, not that the fanatism of some christians seeking out martyrdom was also a reason for persecution so then the last one the withdrawal of christians from the society or from the civilian offices and they considered world the world that they live as a hostile place so that also resulted in the persecution of christians and christians were considered as a sect a new sect a sect that was against caesar or against the government or against the the Uh, society so that is one of the reasons for the persecution so when we study about persecution we need to be very careful consider all these points when you start reading about persecution of the early century 
so next class onwards we are going to the history of persecution so before that you need to know this very carefully beware hagiography first of all don't blame all persecutions to the empress and then second one some the fanatic christians seeking out of martyrdom and the fourth one we see that the withdrawal of christians from the society was also an another reason for persecution thank you